Hello art students, this is Mrs. Brand here. Today I'm going to show you how to use a web application called Pixlr Editor to adjust the threshold of an image. We're going to use the following steps to create an image that has been separated into two distinct values, black and white, for our Warhol inspired pop art painting. The first thing you need to do is log into your Google account and then click on the drive icon. From there you should go into the art folder that you've shared with me and in that folder should be the image of the celebrity that you want to paint. You need to download that image by double clicking on it and selecting the download option. On your computer it might give you the option to select where the file is downloaded to and if so you want to download it to the computer's documents folder. Now I'm going to click on the new tab, go to more, and then find the application Pixlr Editor. If you don't have Pixlr Editor as an option, then you need to choose Connect More Apps and find it. When Pixlr Editor opens up, I can select the option that says Open Image from Computer. And then I can navigate to the photo that I want to add the threshold to. Now we will change this image from color to black and white. We'll do this by clicking on the word adjustment from the menu bar. Next, we will click on threshold. The dialog box that pops up will allow us to move the slide bar until we see as much detail as we like in our celebrity. Once you are happy with the black and white detail of your celebrity, you can click OK. And then go to File, Save. The first option it gives you is to save it to your Google Drive. I'm going to change the name of my file to my last name and then the word Threshold. Also, you want to change your quality to 100. And then you can say OK. When the file saves to your Google Drive, it's going to save to the main page of your drive. So I'm going to click on My Drive. And then I'm going to find the image that I just changed with Threshold. And then I can click on the three dots at the top and say Move To. And here I want to move it to the folder that I have shared. You must move it to that folder so that I have access to it. And that's it. Thank you.